Well, the Durham report finally dropped. And how is the media handling it? In particular, CNN, which is so holier than thou in their righteous fight for wanting the truth. That's why they were so upset that they had to host Donald Trump on a town hall, because this man does nothing but lie, 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 lie. And Joe Biden doesn't. But yet, many of us have contended how the lying legacy corporate corrupt mainstream media lied, 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 lied for three years nonstop about Trump-Russia collusion. Trump-Russia collusion. Trump-Russia collusion. The Mueller report somewhat vindicated Trump on that. And yet, the media never said, oops, our bad, sorry. And now that the report has dropped... What are they saying now at CNN? John Durham, the special counsel investigating whether there was any misconduct by the FBI in the Trump-Russia investigation, just released his findings. The report is now here. It has dropped. It is devastating to the FBI, and to a degree, it does exonerate Donald Trump. Well, you heard it from Jake the Tap Tapper. It's bad. It's not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Donald Trump has been kind of vindicated. But if the FBI just kind of cleans up some of its procedures a little bit, we can probably ensure that this will never happen again unless Donald Trump is reelected. That's how the media is going to treat this. That this is no big deal. No big deal. And Rachel Madcow over at PMSNBC takes the lying and the spinning to a whole new level. And we're going to get into it. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You can't handle the truth! Hey, I'm Pastor Marty. This is the Afternoon Drive. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are a subscriber to the channel. Smack the bell, click the word all to get notification of all of my rants. Shouldn't people be busted for these Democratic dirty tricks? FBI, CIA, Justice Department, the Hillary Clinton campaign, then the Joe Biden campaign. If we're going to clean house, if we're going to clean house in Washington, D.C., doesn't somebody someplace have to have some legal problems, convictions? I mean, someone has to be punished for this. Otherwise, what the heck? It'll go on forever. Just the next campaign, you know, God knows what the current Biden campaign is up to. The overall basic finding of this report is really pretty simple. The report states emphatically that the FBI had zero evidence to begin an investigation into Donald Trump. They went completely on hearsay from Team Hillary. That was it. The dossier, everything, could not be substantiated, could not be given authoritative proof. So without a shred of actual evidence and simply relying on what they were being told by the opposition to the Republican contender for president, they launch an investigation, wiretap, spy, indict, and imprison people all on a hoax and forgeries. But according to Rachel Madcow at PMSNBC, eh, this is a nothing burger. Boy, they have been excited about this for a long time. Literally for years, former President Trump and his allies have been invoking the name John Durham, or sometimes Bull Durham, as the man who would save them and smite all of Trump's enemies. For years, they have been heralding the great revelations John Durham would soon reveal about Trump's political opponents and the deep state and all their evil ways. John Durham was appointed by Trump Attorney General Bill Barr 
His assignment from Bill Barr was to prove that when Russia launched its operation to intervene in the U.S. presidential election in 2016 to try to help Trump win, Durham was supposed to prove in this investigation that the FBI was wrong to have investigated whether the Trump campaign itself was connected to what Russia was doing. Gentlemen, Ciccolini here may talk like an idiot and look like an idiot, but don't let that fool you. He really is an idiot. Now notice what she does here. She is conditioning the minds of the left. And we know there's not a lot of deep intellect there, but she's, she's massaging the minds of the left to when you hear all of these things come out in this report, understand that for years they've been building it up, building it up. This is going to totally vindicate Trump, building it up, building it up. And look, the best they got is the FBI was sloppy in their procedure because after all, he only had one job. He was given that job to discredit the Russian interference into the election and helping Donald Trump. So she goes with the premise that, yes, Russia did interfere and help Trump. One might call that a um, rigged election. But, of course, every election is rigged except 2020. 2020 was perfect. There's no there there why 80 million Americans couldn't wait to vote for the guy that spent two years in his basement campaigning from the family room because he was too old, too frail, too male, too pale, too stale to actually go out and interact with people because they might discover that he's drooling on himself and he has dementia and other mental cognitive issues. But hey, that's what the Democrats love to unleash on us. They unleashed a complete mental defective in Fetterman out of Pennsylvania. And now we're finding out that Diane Frankenstein has dementia. She's had it for years. That her staff wouldn't even let her wander the corridors of the Congress by herself in case some member of the media asked her a question and it be outed that, oops, she's mentally not there. So the staff none of whom were actually elected or chosen by a single voter, they're doing all policy and voting on her behalf. Can we say third world dictatorial type of uh, banana republic bull hawk being passed off as governing happening there? But this is what Democrats do. They could care less that the person sitting there literally is as hollow as Mr. Potato Head. Because they've got people behind the scenes, faces that you don't know, people you've never met or elected, they're going to govern on your behalf. Because that's how democracy works in the warped mind of a leftist. So here's Rachel Madcow. She's massaging all of that and basically saying it's just been a lot of hype and build up for basically nothing. Um, in sum total, what John Durham got out of his investigation was um, one guilty plea out of an FBI lawyer, an FBI employee, who admitted he made a misrepresentation in a single email. It should also be noted, though, that that lawyer's screw-up was discovered not by John Durham, but by an entirely different investigation. So she calls a lawyer forging a document to get the warrant that would start this entire process rolling of wiretapping Donald Trump, spying on all of his people, bringing them before Congress, putting people like Mike Flynn and Roger Stone and others in jail, all off of a forged warrant application. She calls that a mistake. And he did his 400 hours of community service. What he should have been is disbarred and in prison for the rest of his life. Because this idea that, well, certain things were discovered, that's why they had to kick in Roger Stone's door. That's why they went after General Flynn. 
It's why they went after Paul Manafort. Certain things were discovered. There was no probable cause to have ever begun this. These same liberals are the ones that will take a maniac who goes onto a subway, waves his junk around along with a meat cleaver, and says, I'm going to rape every woman on here, and somebody subdues him. The dude who subdues him goes to prison, and the dude waving his wank around, he gets to go free. Because that's the liberal concept of how justice works. There's no probable cause, no evidence, and the FBI and the other intelligence agencies knew this was a lie. That's why they shut down real investigations like all the foreign money being filtered into the Clinton Foundation. They didn't want to go after the Hunter Biden laptop story and all of the foreign money there and the actual real provable collusion. Instead, they went after Donald Trump knowing full well the dossier was fake. Even the P tape did not come from Russia. It came from one of Hillary's hacks. He went over to Russia, checked into the Carlton, Ritz Carlton, got a tour of the presidential suite, and concocted the story. And for three years, everybody in the loop in the intel community knew this was a lie. Knew it. And they spied anyway. They tapped, they taped, they videoed, and they spent hundreds of millions of dollars on illegal surveillance, investigation, the Mueller committee, the hearings on Capitol Hill. They lied and they discredited President Trump 24-7 for three years. And no one has apologized and no one has gone to prison. This was a soft coup. And what is Rachel Madcow's Final assessment of all this? Last year, John Durham finally did bring two criminal cases to court stemming from his investigation. He lost both of those cases in very quick acquittals. Yes, because the justice system is broken in this country and it plays favorites. These two guys get off despite the fact they should be in prison. But then again, a jury under our great justice system just decided that Donald Trump has to pay some old hag $5 million for a rape she alleges happened over 30 years ago without a witness, without any evidence, no video surveillance, no employee from the store, no one to corroborate anything that she accused Donald Trump of and the state of New York even changed the law and they did away with the statute of limitations on these type of charges for one year, for one year, they rolled it back so that she could make her case in court and they could slap Donald Trump with a $5 million fine to say, see, 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 that's our justice system. There's no justice. No real justice, no fair justice. Donald Trump had over two years of his presidency robbed from him over this whole dossier Russian collusion bull hawk. And not just by Democrats, but even members of his own party, like Paul Ryan, Bitch McConnell, in the very beginning of the Trump presidency, wouldn't work with him. And he did accomplish some incredible things despite all of that, but what he could have accomplished. And networks like CNN and people like Jake Tapper lying 24-7 about him and now decrying that he was given some time to do a town hall. He was lying. He called her nasty. He was lying. He called her nasty. He was lying about the election. Lying about COVID. He lied, lied, lied. You said he was lying about being wiretapped. You said he was lying about being spied on. And now we have irrefutable concrete evidence 
It was all a fabrication. It was all made up. He wasn't lying. It actually happened. And are you apologizing for your lies? No. Do you have any journalistic integrity to say, we didn't do our job, we didn't investigate, we just allowed the government to hand us talking points, and we sat down in front of the camera, just like members of the KGB in a controlled media state, and we just read you the script. Night after night after night after night. We don't have news, we have propaganda. And these people have the audacity to talk about Trump, call him a liar, and yet Joe Biden lies, 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 lies. And all of his lies have been proven repeatedly. He can't even tell homespun stories about his boyhood without failing every fact check. Remember when they found the first two or three documents and we were told, that's it, that's all there are. Now there's over 1,800 boxes because we were told Trump was the real bad guy because he had more documents than Joe Biden. Well, Trump was the president had every right to take them. Joe Biden was the VP. He had no right to take them, and he certainly didn't have any as a senator. By the way, you do know when Trump said they were in Chinatown where they don't speak English? Hey, Jake Tapp, let me help you out here. He wasn't talking about Chinatown in New York City or Washington, D.C. or even San Francisco. He was talking about those 1,800 boxes are probably over in China. That's why Biden isn't giving them back and we don't know where they are. Bomb, but um bump. It is proven that he and his son grifted from Ukraine and China. You're not interested in that. You're not interested that we're giving billions to Ukraine in payback because of the influence they bought with Joe and Hunter Biden. You're not interested in the fact that the tariffs, which we're working and we're leveling the playing field in trade with China, Joe Biden rolled back all those tariffs. We now have an unfair trade war again. And once again, China's back to its old tricks that if Americans develop a technology that they send over to Chinese factories to build and to manufacture because they can do it cheaper there, that then the American company has to also hand over the rights to the technology. And Trump was pulling all that back. Beijing Biden is bought and paid for, and it's provable. I mean, okay, the report's out. I know President Trump and, and some real hard-working, hard-fighting conservatives want this to mean something. But we see how the media is going to spin it away. They're never going to admit they lied and they simply gave you propaganda talking points night after night after night. And certainly no one from James Comey or the rest of that ilk will ever see the inside of a prison cell. The only thing that keeps me from really losing it on this kind of stuff is as a pastor... As, a, as an actual believer in the God of the Bible, I do understand nobody, nobody really gets away with anything. And in the end, God will see that justice is served on those who desperately are deserving of it.